Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Kelsey. Hi guys. And Rebs de Fragrance. Yes. Did I say that right? Okay, okay. de Fragrance. <laughs> yeah. She's my French uh, tutor these days. Yeah guys, we wanted to film a video today because as you can see, I got my, finally got my PR package from uh, Zerzhov now that I'm a 20% shareholder in the company. And so we thought what a better way to celebrate than sharing with you guys some of our favorite Zerzhov fragrances and just picking random ones as well, smelling them for the first time and telling you guys what we think about them. So we literally have like 20 different bottles down here besides these and subscribe to Kelsey, jeesh. Yes, please <laughs> help a girl out. Yeah, all right, so the first one is just probably the most iconic. I don't mm. really know if there is a most iconic Zerzhov though. Like there's so many that are just so good that I think That's this true. is the one that everyone knows about. So this is Naxos, Naxos, Naxos. Classic, like honey smell. There are some down here that we don't really know that well, mm -hmm. but I thought we'd start with one that we do. Beautiful. I, I don't think I've ever smelled this on skin. Really? Just on paper, yeah. Oh, definitely the lavender, change. honey, yeah. powdery, sweet. So this is like known to be like a really popular winter fragrance, but I keep telling everyone like, wear it in the summer, wear it in the summer, yeah. wear it in the summer. I don't know yeah. why, but when I smell it, I actually think it's like the perfect Miami Beach vacation fragrance. Mm -hmm. For some reason, when I smell it, I just picture like a man in linen pants or linen shirt yeah. walking down Collins Ave or something. Yeah, it's really sexy. Yeah. There's a freshness to it, so I could see yeah. it like in hot weather, definitely. Because everyone thinks it's like a winter beast, right? I mean, it's definitely a beast and it's a little bit heavy and sweet, but that lavender really adds a freshness to mm -hmm. it. I feel like you could wear this in any season, honestly. Oh, wow. I really get the lavender on you. Oh. This green lavender. Yeah, see, it's fresh. I don't think it's like too heavy. Mm -hmm. One out of 10, I say nine and a half. I really like this fragrance. For myself as well, I would wear this. Yeah, I'm gonna do eight and a half. I like it, but it's not like my favorite yeah. style of fragrance. Uh-huh, one of my <laughs> favorite Zerjas of all time, Herba Pura. This is the one that goes head to head with God of Fire. Everyone compares yeah. the two. Super fruity and musky. Oh, so nice. You could smell this like down the street, I swear. Very. Oh, it's delicious. And honestly, to me, it's like super unisex. Oh yeah, I know it's a lot of hot. guys that love God of Fire. God of Fire is very similar to that, but it mm -hmm. doesn't have, Herba Pura doesn't have the spiciness. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have that mango. Right. But the ginger, I think, in God of Fire makes it like so cool. Softer, Yeah. And a little bit sweeter than God of Fire. I am obsessed with this scent. I know. Forever. <laughs> this will always be Serge in my Al collection. For life. <laughs> All right, what's your rating? 10 out of 10, yeah. <laughs> you know. I'd probably give it like a, probably like a seven just because I personally don't like super sweet things. So this is Symphonium. I think this is one of their, like this is a more expensive bottle I know. Oh, really? It's part of like this collection. I'm not sure what the collection name is, but it has this like stone on the front. Yeah, I think the bottles of Symphonium were like 500 something dollars. Really? Oh my god. But it's so nice. Like if you like gourmand, chocolatey mm -hmm. scents, mm -hmm. it's so good. Oh yeah, it's super chocolatey. Chocolate, orangey. Yeah. Exactly. I've heard people compare it to those like orange chocolate candies. Yeah. I don't know that I would want to smell like that. Yeah. I like the orange, you know, zestiness, but combined with the chocolate, I'm not loving it, to be honest. Um, I'm going to have to go with a six out of ten. Six, six. Yeah. I give it a five because I wouldn't uh -huh. wear this. Yeah. But it's I enjoy the smell. I could sit here and smell it and be happy, but I I wouldn't drown myself with that, no. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear that one. Ah, uh, Cruz del Sur too. This is a gourmand, fruity fragrance. I know this has like guava and mango. Yeah. I love the added guava because you see mango in a lot of fragrances, but not guava. It's just like- Makes it extra ripe. tropical. Yeah, yeah, super tropical, creamy. It's like a ripe green mango, guava. I really like this. It's super fresh. Like it's not too sweet. Yeah, no, it's not at all. It kind of smells with the guava. It smells like a, like a starburst, like the yeah. pink starburst almost, mm. like almost like this kind of lemonade, yeah, kind it's of like pink fresh, lemonade right? quality. Yeah, it's but it's not. It's not really. It's sweet, but it's not like a syrupy sweet at all. It's very light and airy. Mm -hmm. Very feminine. I don't know if a guy would like to wear that or not. Yeah, that's hard to say. I don't know. But on a woman, ooh, amazing. Beautiful. I say seven. I'm gonna give it an eight, I think. 
I like this one a lot. It's a little bit on the softer side though. I'm gonna give it an eight. It's unique, I like it. All right, let's do Alexandria Oriental. 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 <laughs> I grew up in the Midwest, guys. Okay? <laughs> I'm not the most exotic creature on the planet. <laughs> but this one I've smelled before and I love this one. And it used to be um, just a exclusive in the UAE, but now it mm. is available everywhere. And this is like a really pretty, really sexy, like oody chocolatey mm. kind of dynamic smell. I really, really like this one. Oh, wow. Yeah. I haven't smelled this in a long time. I'm kind of getting like first impressions all over again. I definitely get the oud. I get some like mm -hmm. dark cacao. Yeah. It's like a bitter cacao, not sweet at all to me. It's very like airy and dry, super dry. I could see it doing well in like hot, hot, like dry weather. Mm -hmm. Not so much humidity though. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I could wear this in Florida. Yeah, no, with the humidity, it might be it's a little too, too much. Yeah. I would give it like a seven and a half. I don't know. For me, on a man, I think this is just like, I would start drooling. <laughs> if I smell this on a man, on his skin, oh, wow. it's so, so, so sexy to me. I don't know what it is. It's just something about the oud and the ch like just everything. It's very yeah. like vanillic and creamy. Mm -hmm. I love this one. I'm going to give this one an 11. I'd have to smell it on the skin. I feel yeah. like smelling it on the paper is not doing it justice for me. Okay, we're going with one of my favorites. This is Dama Bianca. This is beautiful, ultra feminine. This is like juicy, floral, sweet, powdery, <laughs> all in one. <laughs> yeah, I like this one a lot too. Very feminine, very pretty, mm -hmm. very, very feminine. Like a younger girl for sure. Like a princess, basically. Yeah, it makes me think of like a fairy or a princess. Yeah. And the bottle too. Mm. I'm obsessed with the I bottle. I know, it's so pretty. I give it a an eight. It's really pretty. It's I'll classic. It, yeah. Classic, yeah. pretty. All right, let's do a Cento mm. Overdose. Get your face out of the food. No. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> All right, so a Cento Overdose. I got a fat compliment, as some other YouTubers really? say. Wearing this, I drowned myself in this the other night and I came home. I was walking through my parking garage inside the building and a guy followed me. He's like, <gasps> really? when we were in the elevator, he was like, what are you wearing? It smells absolutely amazing. He said, oh. I smelled it all the way out in the parking garage. Oh my God, you were living in Massive Central. Yeah. Mm. It's kind of like a very toned down, fruity kind of scent. Yeah, it's floral too. I'm yeah, it's floral. very floral. Very pretty. I like this. I could see this being an everyday scent, signature scent. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. And it's strong. And now it kind of like boosts my ego a little every time yeah. I smell no, it because I'm like, haha, someone it. liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Compliment getter. Lyra, everybody's got to know this one. Yes, this one is iconic. Super popular. Another gourmand. It's like lemon cake. Yes. Super powdery, sweet. It's just beautiful. Like it's, it's amazing. so feminine too. It's um, one of the Can more I... dynamic uh, gourmands that they have. Like uh, when I smelled it for the first time, I definitely I get the lemon cookie, but when I smelled it for the very first time, not knowing what it was, it reminded me of like those orange dreamsicle bars, yeah. orange ice cream oh my God. that I used to eat as a kid. Mm. It's so freaking pretty. Yeah, I could so see that. So nice. Orange creamsicle. And totally wearable. It's not just like. Yeah, it's not totally overly gourmand. sweet. Like, yeah. somehow it's not. Very realistic. I don't know what they put in there, but... <laughs> it's addictive. <laughs> to go head-to-head -head with Lyra, we'll do Italica. This one is soup. Like, it's a little... A lot more gourmand than Lyra. But this is, like, the most amazing wintertime Christmas signature scent. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so nice. Panettone. Right? That's how you pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> that almond uh, cake kind of... <laughs> Dessert. Yeah, it's super almond -y. Italian dessert. Mm. It's powdery, sweet. Oh, it's freaking head. It's, mil it's very milky. Too, yeah. yes. So it's like spicy at the mm -hmm. same time. I love wearing this. I know. I'm giving it On a time. man. Oh, oh my god. On a sexy. man. So sexy. Mm, delicious. Like if that's one thing you guys can take away from me on my channel, I'm always plugging like men to wear floral scents and men to wear gourmand, mm -hmm. like sweet gourmands. Women go nuts over this stuff. <laughs> All right, in, in that spirit, I'm actually going to grab my favorite, <laughs> absolute favorite Zerzhov on a man. Oh wow, what is it? I've been talking about this a lot lately. Via, I gotta cover her face to get the bottle to focus. Via Kabor <laughs> One. This is my all time favorite Zerzhov on a man. I don't know what it is when I smell this on a man in the air. <laughs> so 
<laughs> it's really bad. It's really bad for me. Like I just, I get, really I get a lot of really happy feelings <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. It's not what you were expecting when I said for a man, no, right? No. It's white, it's like peachy, yeah, it's white, very and, peachy. Uh, dark chocolate. Mm. It's and musky. It's just, ugh. It's so freaking sexy. It almost smells a little bit like a drink. Like to me, like a fruity cocktail with, but almost like I'm getting some boozy, like dark rum. Yeah, for me, I get almost like a marshmallowy kind of feel to it mm -hmm. a little. Like there's yeah, like this fluffy. fluffy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty. I give that oh, a nine out of on ten. A man. I like that. Oh yes. Fifteen out of ten. This <laughs> is my favorite Zerja for a man to wear. It's oh, wow. so sexy. And there's like some dynamic spiciness to it too. Very subtle, but it's there. We'll do two more because my battery's almost <laughs> dead. I know I came on here saying 20, but all right. So we'll each pick one more. Cambridge Club. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna talk about Cambridge Club. <laughs> if you guys don't know, like the, the Join the Club collection, the JTC collection with Zerjoff is like this thing where they don't what, disclose. disclose. I was gonna say expose. Disclose <laughs> the notes. So it's like totally up to the smeller's subjection and what they think is in the fragrance. Oh wow, this is beautiful. It is really nice. It's like, yeah. I have oh. a little uh, 15 ml I got in a discovery set. Mm. It has like caramelly coffee. Like it's just so, it's really nice. Yeah, there's almost like a, is there a rose in here? Yeah, I don't know. yeah. I'm smelling rose yeah. too. It's fluffy, like musky a little bit, but then you have that deep caramel yeah. latte kind of smell. Luxurious, it smells like luxury. Mm -hmm. Really nice, what's your rating? I gotta give that a 10. 10. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. It is really nice. On a man as well, totally unisex. Yes, this is super unisex. Despite there being like the rose in there, like don't yeah. let that put you off at all. And I love coffee scents, so I give it a 10 too. I really enjoy this one. I don't wanna do just one more. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do maybe two more until the camera dies, all right? <laughs> Let's keep going. All right, so next we have <laughs> 40 Nods. This is a new one that I recently discovered. A Total new love for me. Living in Miami Beach, this is one that I've just been, like, you can see the dent in the bottle. It's Oh, it's even further down. <laughs> I've been wearing this all the time. It's just for me, there's something so natural and beautiful about it. It makes mm -hmm. me feel very, I don't want to say like bohemian, like breeze in my hair on the beach. It makes me feel very like sexy in, in that yeah. kind of sensual, natural way. That very feminine, mm -hmm. earthy, earthly goddess yeah. kind of vibes. I like that description. Yeah. <laughs> like a mermaid. <laughs> yeah, a mermaid in Florida. Yeah. Yeah, it's earthy and then you have like that aquatic sense to mm -hmm. it. And it's kind of salty, it's, yeah. it's so nice. But not like not in a bad way, like yeah. you would think like salty, aquatic, but no, like this is delicious, it's ambery at the same time. Mm. It's beautiful, like I, I don't even, I wouldn't be able to pick out the notes in this. It's so complex, but it's well blended, smooth. It's so nice. Oh my gosh, it's killer. Unisex too, men yeah. and women, I love it. Golden Dollar, La Capitale, which one? La Capitale. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> You guys already know we love Golden Dollar more than anything. We both own Golden Dollar. All right, La Capitale. I think uh, Golden Dollar is the best one out of that uh, coffee break line, personally. Yeah, I definitely agree. I have that one too. I love love the smell of that one. So this is another icon. I guess we're finishing with a banger. Yeah, definitely. This is one that Demi really loves. Mm, it's very sexy, fruity, mm -hmm. musky. Very rich. Yeah. Like super luxurious. There's something deep in there, like, I don't know if it's a amber or sandalwood, but it's really, like, giving it a lot of depth. I could see, like, wearing this out um, on a date night to dinner. Very sexy. It almost, to me, and I could be totally wrong, which, you know, <laughs> like a more grown-up, rich version of this. Yeah, A Chento Overdose. That. Yeah. Much more refined. Richer. Yeah, there's, like a, like, a more masculine vibe in this one. Yeah, it's but not it's not ma feminine. it's not but it's not masculine as in like oh it's only for men. It just is more re it makes it more refined and mm -hmm. grown up to yeah. me. <laughs> My favorite oh wait where did it go? My favorite is oh, Cruz del Sur too. Wow, I was not expecting that. I just I love the guava and mango. Yeah. I love guava, anything desserts. So for me, this is like hands down the best unique guava mango scent. All right, yeah. well for me, I got two favorites because I'm going to say Via Cavour one because. <laughs> Via Cavour one because it's just it's one of my all-time favorites from Zerjov. Like I 
cannot get over that fragrance but i think my favorite from this list is actually going to be this um alexandria oriental i love that chocolatey mm. oudy wow so freaking sexy okay. yeah i wasn't expecting your pick either it's like we don't even surprise. know each other <laughs> <laughs> all right guys well my camera battery is about to die sorry we had to cut this a little short little rush but we just wanted to give some fast impressions of some Sergio fragrances so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to follow kelsey her link is below and at the end screen and we will see you guys next time Bye. Bye.